Hi. Look at, um, I was sitting here ready to record and, uh, I just realized as I sat down how nervous I just got because we're about to take on the Elite Four. I'm not ready for this, man. How's it going, guys? This is the Lonator. Welcome to episode 35 of our Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And, as, you, as I just told you, <clears throat> feels are hitting me right now because not only are we versing Elite Four, but this could potentially, well, it may not be, I might try something a little different, but it could potentially be the final episode of Pokemon Emerald. <sighs> like we started this project maybe in, like, February? It's already May? Like, what? That's nuts! It took four months to complete this damn game on scheduled uploads that got went raw, and then I just decided to make it a daily series, and just I'm all over the place. If you guys are excited for our Elite Four challenges, and if you have enjoyed Pokemon Emerald up to this point, hit the hell out of that like button for me. It's always appreciated. Your interaction with you guys is always great. I say that in every video because literally I want to hear your guys' input on the series so far. <coughs> Sorry. I have to clear my throat a couple times. I've had too much. Oh, whenever. I feel like whenever I have milk, my body just starts to weird. I'm not even lactose intolerant either. That's the weird part too. I'm not even lactose. Anyways, so uh, yeah, and uh, also make sure you hit subscribe as well so you guys do not miss out on any content, especially this episode specifically. I don't know if we're going to do all four and the champion today, but we could potentially, so I'm all types of, I'm all types of hype and scared. So let's get a quick team recap. So I want to tell you guys about the team a little quick, because during grinding, guess what happened? You can see uh, a certain... A certain, uh, a certain team member is not there. So we will get to that in a second because I am the biggest, bat, most worst let's player on the ch on the YouTuber, Poke PokeTuber realm. So first you have Comics, who is Water type Mystic Wa holding the Mystic Water to power Surf and Waterfall. He's also rocking Bite and Heat Wave as well. I love you, Comics. We also have our starter who has been with us through thick and thin through the entire let's play. He has been here with us. He is level 55 as well with Silver Powder to power up Fury Cutter, which he actually f learned. I gave, I got rid of Silver Wind because I hate the PP at 5, like Ancient Power. It's just a big pet peeve of mine I always hated. It's like, just having, <coughs> having Silver Wind at like 5 PP is just really annoying. So I thought I would just give him Fury Cutter just because it, it builds up over time and with the Silver Powder it should do more damage. So, we'll see how it goes. If, if it, <coughs> I have to clear my throat every second. So. In future LPs, which after this Let's Play, I will do an update video the following week. So if you guys are not subscribed, definitely you guys should. Because not only do we have Pokemon content, but we have fighting game content. We have cult, we have first-person shooter content that's coming to the channel. There's a lot of stuff coming. So I really hope you guys are enjoying the channel. And I really hope you guys are uh, ready for some hypes. Because uh, great things are well, well ending. Uh, great things are going to come. Let's get, let's stop wasting time. I'm plugging way too much on this channel. So let's just, if you enjoy it, slap a like on it and subscribe if you want to support. And we have Avian Arfiro, who is still here. She is relaxed nature. He, with Fly, Pursuit, Drill Peck, and, and Poison Fang. We have Jesse, the MVP of our team, who is <coughs> Lax nature, holding nothing. I'll give her an item in a second. With Crunch, Outrage, Psybeam, and Strength. We also have our As Asuka, our Blaziken, who is Impish Nature, holding the charcoal, the power of Heat Wave, and Blaze Kick, also Rocky Slash and Double Kick. And we have the newest team member, Seamus the Machamp. Fella! We have Seamus the Machamp because Claire is no longer with us. You know what I did? I'll tell you what I did. I left an I left a Dragonite out on a level 40 Lapras, and he Ice Beamed me, and I uh, had 40 per. I had about 75, 80 percent health, and I didn't know it was gonna kill from that range. I'm seven levels above, and I went for a Stab Fly, and it Ice Beamed me. But I don't know why I actually left in a Lapras against a. I left in a Lapras against. I left an Ice type on a Dragon Flying type. It's just it's so stupid. But we have Seamus here. He is here, quiet nature, which is a shitty nature for a Machamp, but 
Nothing's getting hurt from his defenses and his attack, so he's rocking revenge. <clears throat> he's rocking revenge, foresight, karate chop, and focus energy. So we are going before we take on the gym leader, though. I will speed it up a little bit just to get through this process. So let's go to Lily Cove City and let's check out the TMs a little bit. Let's check it out a little, a little, little second. So he can't live Thunder Punch. We already figured that out. <clears throat> I believe that's Mist Ball, if I'm not mistaken, and his special attack is really shitty, so. <clears throat> that's Heat Wave, that's Frenzy Plant, uh, that's Focus Energy, and that is Moonlight, I think. So there's not many TMs to give him. He's a very interesting Pokemon to train, because he can't learn Thunder Punch, it sucks. TM16 is regularly, like, can't pinpoint it, but I'll have to check after this episode. So I guess he's just gonna straight be a fighting type that's gonna fill that's gonna fill some service onto the team. I really don't know what I was what I was gonna do. But I guess what I could do is I could give him strength. Look at all those frickin' TMs, man. I could give him strength for a little attack power, because like honestly, we need to keep foresight though. Just in case we need to go up against a ghost type and we have nothing to hit it with, we can go out into Machamp and foresight it and then just go for a bunch of strengths. So I'm gonna get rid of focus energy. And uh we're going to do what it do in the hoo hoo hoo. Let's go. I don't know what the f what the hell I'm saying. I'm on a whole new a whole new roller coaster today. So we are here. Let's check our medication before. Oh wait, we don't even have any money. So So we have We have lots of stuff actually. So we are okay to take on this gym. Well, not gym. Elite 4. So Let's go guys. We've wasted enough time. Let's get in there. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so I'm so nervous. Like my stomach just tightened up just now. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Oh. Make sure you save your game before anything crazy happens. I do agree with that 100%. Whoever <laughs> certain uh, young man has said that a bunch of times in his videos, and I, for one, 100% agree with him. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <sighs> Welcome, Challenger! I'm Sydney of the Elite Four! Ha! <laughs> you're giving me that... I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good, looking real good. Alright, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Ha! <laughs> he gave him a punk voice. I, I really don't care. Ha! 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 Alright, Gymnast Lawrence, I'm so nervous! Jirachi! Oh my god! I am a little over leveled. I should have went to 50. Oh my god. We can go for a stab surf. Mystic Water boosted. Come through, comics. Come through. Come through. Oh, that half. Future Sight? Okay. So what What? What are you rocking, comics? Do you have more attack or special attack? More attack. But Jirachi's attack, a uh, defense that's like. Wait, we have Heat Wave. We could have did super effective damage because it's kill. Oh, just shy. Just shy of it. We'll test out a Heat Wave. I know Future Sight's gonna hit us in the next turn, but... Maybe this turn. No, next turn. Let's hit it with a, st with a uh, super effective Heat Wave. It actually does more. Wow. It beats a stab move. That's actually very surprising. I didn't know that it did. Here comes Future Sight. Don't do too much damage. Oh, my God. Eat it up! Holy shit! Get out of here! So Jirachi was his first Pokemon. Wow, a legendary! It's a crit! Right at the beginning, a legendary. Who knows what we're gonna run into? Wigglytuff. Okay, now I'm gonna debut the hell out of it. I'm gonna debut the fuck out of Seamus. Go Seamus, let's go. Broke! 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 Ah! Oh. Go for a bro kick. Let me stop. Let's go for a big, nice and, hmm, nice and stab karate chop. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Cute charm. You serious? Sing. Okay, this is not happening. I don't care. This gives me time to wake up. Oh, Seamus! Breaking out of there. Get out of there. That's right. Can you do it again? Come on, Seamus. Fella! 
<laughs> he lived! Come on! Why are you living in such hype moments? Come on, a third time! Oh, I thought he could. I thought he could. I thought Seamus was going to be my favorite member, but he just kind of... He just kind of fell one stage after that. <laughs> Come on, Seamus. You got this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we train in these... This is my yard. We train. We train for the better. Who's next? Nine tails. Easy. Let's go out into... Let's go out into Koryu. Rock type is super effective against fire type. But we are also bug type. The only reason I send them out is because rock type, it's neutral. So nine tails is not gonna do that much. A stab, ancient power. Let's go, core you, 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 let's go. Hit the starter has been with us through to the end. Armaldo has been our starter. Cascoon, let's stay in with the starter who brought us home. Drink it. If you guys have a drink at home and you're watching this, drink for Koryu. Because this iron mole is going to freaking slash at everything. <laughs> Let's go. It didn't kill! Oh well. I know it's only a Cascoon, but still. Cascoon has some defense. Are you going to live these slashes now? Whoops, I shook the camera. Sorry. He's not. I thought he was. Another Cascoon? Sydney! Or Lawrence, his name is Sydney in the actual game. Wow, you really disappointed me in this battle, sending out two Cascoons. Come on. You sent out a Jirachi at the beginning and you end with an ace at level 50, like 51 with, or was that 55? Ha! <laughs> ha! Well, how do you like that? I lost. Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Really? Well, ha! <laughs> Listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go far now. Go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. All right, so let's uh, let's heal. Because the only ones who took damage were Seamus and Comics. So let's move on to the next one. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way to the champion in this episode. I really don't know if we are. We might just have to separate these videos in in, in uh, packs of two. So you know what? Comics had some screen time. Let's bring the MVP back out, and then, uh... So let's see what, what items can we give everybody. Excuse me. Could give him a champ to Silk Scarf to power up, uh, strength. You know what? I'll do it. Sorry if I'm burping. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to get that out of my system. So he's holding that. You're holding the charcoal, if I'm correct, right? Yes. You can keep that. So what can I give Giraffe Rig? Hmm. Hmm. I could give it the black glasses to power up Crunch. And you're holding the silver power to power Fury Cutter. I can give Avian the... Poison Barb to power up Poison Fang. That's kind of a nice idea. Black Glasses, Silver Powder, Poison Barb, Mystic Water, Charcoal, and Silk Scarf. This is pretty good. Even, I know I know it's only base 50, but it like it powers that up by 1.2, right? Or 1.5. So I think that's really good. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pier. While I trained, I gained the ability to commute with, commune with ghost-type Pokémon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokémon is extremely tight. Ooh, it's so tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokémon. <laughs> Damn, this chick's really zen. Hmm. Check out that stance. Check out that stance, she's just rocking. She sends out an Umbreon! Oh god, it's this thing. It's Mr. Bulky himself, and he sends out the only thing Giraffe Rig can't handle. So you know what? We'll go into the appropriate Pokemon, which is Seamus. Come on out, Seamus. This was our check to Dark Types. He's gonna confuse my turn one. 
This is already not looking good for us. But that doesn't mean that we're going to stay confused. I just want to know. Hmm. Fame attack? Oh, that's fine. If we break out, you're pretty much dead. Because revenge does double damage and it... Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Seamus. That's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure if you hit Machamp, its power doubles to 120. I was watching uh, another LP on someone else's channel, and uh, he actually said that he re I read it up on his phone, and he actually said that once you hit hit someone with revenge, the power is instantly doubled to 120, which I can't even tell you how goddamn overpowered that is already. So I guess we're doing another 120 power. Hit him, Seamus! Let's go, Bella! God, I'm really enjoying this. x -plowed. We can stay in. Fun fact for you guys. x is actually my favorite normal type of all time. Fun fact. And I'm actually using him in Pokemon Y right now. Excuse you? Who do you think you are, motherfucker? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I am Seamus. I will bro kick your head off. Stomping, flinching me. How dare you? Beldum. Okay, that's a psychic type. I feel like he only has takedown though. He does learn. He does learn moves at level 20, but that's only when he evolves into Bel uh, into uh, Matang. He learns Metal Claw and Confusion, but I don't think Beldum has anything. I think it's merely just nothing but takedown. We're not even gonna... It's a crit! We're not even gonna find out, because this thing just got bodied by my big fat chicken foot. Vaporeon. Chicken foot. Yeah. So, if we had Thunder Punch on Jesse, we could've did that, but no, we don't, so... I guess we just have to go for the safe option in Avian, I guess? I mean, Vaporeon does get Aurora Beam, and sorry. I tried my best to cover that, but... Mm, I'll go out into Avian. It does carry Aurora Beam or any Ice-type move, but I don't know if the elite, this trainer is actually putting it on the Pokémon, so I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna go for the Stab Dropek. Come on! Did that see? Oh, and he goes for Acid Armor after. Okay, I gotta Poison Fang this thing. I gotta start poisoning it. Because once it starts getting... Because it's pretty much a preemptive toxin. That is Poison Bar boosted. That does nothing. But still, I poison it. It's pretty much a preemptive toxic. That's why I kind of like it, because... Once I actually attack it, you'll actually be able to kill it next turn. Unless you go for Full Restore. You don't. Okay, so the next toxic damage will do a lot more. It's a crit! It's a crit! Avian! Let's go! This is why I love this bird. This is why he's my fa new favorite. Oh darn, I've got it lost. Damn right, bitch. Damn right. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon. Ah I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next world. Opa. Where did Opa come from? I just pulled it out of my ass and pulled that vocabulary out of my ass, so I apologize if it's creepy. I can understand that. So the only one that took damage in that battle was, in fact, Seamus. So, we didn't get to see much uh, screen time from Jesse. We didn't really get to see much screen time. Ha! Welcome! My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may own my ice skills, but all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Edgy little bitch, are we? No, I'm kidding. She's not a bitch. She's not a bitch. She's a woman. Gymnast Anne is so cocky. That's much better. Illumise, which is a pretty shitty Pokemon if you ask me. 
So Jesse, uh, we will have no problem black glasses boosted crunching you to death. We will have no problem, and you ate that up quite a lot, actually. And it's actually a bug type, so I'm actually very nervous to keep this in on a, uh, on a, um, Elimise, but at the same time, Elimise sucks, okay? So that means Elimise ain't doing shit. You know what? You boosted my, you boosted my special attack. This is gonna kill you, right? Get out of here. You're done, son. Get out of here. Matang. Another one of that evolution line? My god. Let's go into Asuka. Matang does not get Earthquake. Oh, actually, no, that's wrong. It does. It only it do, it gets it only by TM, though. So that means this trainer would have had to teach him Earthquake to actually hit me. Heatwave lands. Does it kill? Wow. I underestimated Blaziken's power. I really did. But that's why I like Asuka, because she's really strong. Spiro? Are you serious? Look at, them, look at them flapping her little wings. That's awesome. Let's go for another stab boosted heat wave. Charcoal boosted. And it kills the Spiro. Yep. If you would have had a Firo, it would have been a lot better. Oh my god. Um, Mewtwo is not too fun to deal with. Um, I would go into Jesse, but Mewtwo does a hell of a lot of damage, so it wouldn't really matter if it resists. I'm gonna go into Koryu because he has Fury Cutter, and he he has a lot of bulk to him. A level 52 Mewtwo! Oh my God! He's going for Future, so he's going for that residual damage. This could be very bad if we don't play this correctly. Why does that do so little damage? It goes for barrier. Come on, we can deal the damage. As long as he doesn't go for psychics, or if he doesn't try and pack on the damage with future sight. Core you, you cannot miss! You failed. You can't be missing. Oh my god. Why are you missing your Fury Cutters? Now we're gonna be back at square one. Swift, okay. So Future Sight, Barrier, Swift. The last move has to be Psychic. There's no question. It has to be Psychic. Swift, okay. That does nothing. Don't miss. Thank you. This next Fury Cutter should take him to like one HP. So this one hits. He has to go for future side again, yeah. So I have a t I have I have a free turn to go for another fury cutter. Can this kill? Thank you. Oh my god, Mewtwo is so terrifying. He deals so much damage. Zubat, after all that, bruh. After all that, just a Zubat to end it off. Oh my god, that's so pathetic. Oh man. Alright. Ha! You and your Pokemon! How hot your spirits burn! The all-consuming heat overwhelms! It's no surprise that my icy skills fail to harm you. I, I'm running out of female voices, man. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. I'm running out of female voices. I already did the, oh my god, and I already did the, the really soft charmer voice. I thought it would go for more of a punk girl kind of voice. I'm running out of female voices to go for. But I know which one to give him. I got this. So let's lead with... Let's lead with comics. Yeah, even though he led with him in the first battle, I think he'll go well here. Oh, I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite for Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. Arr. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with the Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail against me. Alright then, this guy's serious. What does his name get random randomized to? Off of Drake? 
gymnast Tia. Gymnast Tia sending out a victory bell. That's a very bad matchup for us. Let's go into Avian. Let's let's not waste any time. Let's switch out to our flying type and do some crazy damage. Is that a crack? Yeah, it's a crack. Sleep powder. That's what victory bell does. So once it puts you to sleep, it starts attacking you. So, but I'm not gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna let that just sit there. I'm gonna wake myself up. Go for a stab, drill, peck. Go Avian. Go Avian. Go Avian. The beer row. Smack some heads. Go Avian. Let's go. Graveler. Okay, now this is very scary. This is very scary. This is very scary. Alright. Alright. Okay. So that's Graveler down. Alright, so Bar <laughs> Barboach. I love that name. So let's go into Jesse. It's like I say Jesse's the MVP because she took down like a really tough opponent in the last gym. So you can honestly see why. So let's go for a stab Psybeam. Let's go for his ace is level 55. So Steven's ace should or Wallace's, sorry. Wallace's ace should be a powerful like 65 or like 63. Citrus Berry. I'm pretty sure this will kill. I'm pretty sure. Right? Oh yeah, it's a crit! Oh yeah, you're going down. You're not living. Get out of here. Slack off? Holy crap, he has a bunch of basics. That's the only reason that I don't like doing a couple of a randomized Elite Four runs, because sometimes they're just really, really underwhelming. So it feels like I'm... It feels like I'm versing a really underwhelming gym. Okay, it's it doesn't cover typing. Yeah, that's actually a crazy thing. I didn't. I thought it would actually cover typing. Ponyta is his ace. There's a lot of basics. Oh my god. I don't know why he has a bunch of basics. Wow. Bounce. Okay. Yeah, Ponyta's attack stat is higher than its special attack, so going for bounce is not that surprising. My God, <sighs> holy God, my sh <sighs> I would read his text, but I'm a little shocked at that. I'm a little shocked. Holy God. Feel like doing the champion in this episode because this is episode 35. What an appropriate appropriate number to stop at. But holy shit! I kind of want to save the champion for the next episode, but it's only going to be like like a 12 minute episode or like an, a nine minute episode for tomorrow. Mm, I don't know. If I want to leave the episode, if I want to leave the champion for the next episode. do it we'll do it today so guys we're going in there all right we're gonna go in there this has officially been the last episode of Pokemon Emerald I hope you guys really enjoyed I hope you guys are about to enjoy this battle I'm about to have so let's go here we go oh, oh, welcome low oh that incident in Sotopolis City that was superb work 
putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops, it wouldn't be fair to say that you ended uh, alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We train this rise up, raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon, and this is why your achievements were put to the test what others like have you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. Oh my god! Jesse just lived on free HP! Now we're about to go into the champion battle. Here we go. So he leads with a Swallow at level 57. We are on par for the champion. I am very happy about that. Alright, let's go for a drill peck. From yeah, from what I what I understand, Swalot is very bulky, so he can actually take a couple hits. I don't know if Firo can. I'm risking it. This is the last battle. I'm risking it. Limit Avian, no! Limit! Limit! Oh you just lived it on the skin of your teeth. Oh don't. Oh my god, that's so much damage. You lived on two HP. Oh my god, you lived on two. You're gonna be able to take out the swall out with Drill Peck. Holy god. Wait, what? No! Shit! We lost Avian! Of course, you would live on one HP. <sighs> That's stupid. I calculated that damage perfectly. I calculated that damage so perfectly, I thought it was going to kill. We've had Avian this entire time. Avian's such an OG member. That was be that was just me being stupid. I should have played it safe at least. I should have at least healed the poison and tried to heal again. I, I was that was me being stupid. May cargo. Okay, look. Oh man. All right, let's go into comics. Let's take out this Macargo. We can take it out with a stab surf. So, May cargo is not a problem at all. Alright, so we got a mag cargo. Let's go for surf. It's times four effective. You should not live this, from what I understand. Oh, that that life bar is going down so goddamn fast. Oh my god, get out of here. Oh my god. So, I'm gonna think about it for the rest of the episode. We lost Avian. Can't believe I let that happen. Oh my god. Shit. If I go revenge, you go for swagger. Wow. So I'm gonna do 60 power times two. If the if I don't break if I break out of confusion, that remains to be seen. Nope. And I have sky high attack, so that's gonna do massive damage, yeah. So I need to switch out, preferably into a Pokemon that can take a hit. Which from this thing I don't know what it carries, but. Let's see if Giraffe Rig can bulk out a Surf or a Water Pulse from this thing or whatever water type stab it has. It goes for Hypnosis. Okay. Well, actually, a Hypnosis we can actually deal with right away. Really? You're gonna Swagger Giraffe Rig? You're gonna Swagger Giraffe Rig? I really hate status moves. As soon as I see status moves, I want to speed up and get it, get it over with. I hate stab moves. We're plus two attack. How much is this doing? Oh, it almost killed, too. Going for Double Slap and not Hypnosis? I'm surprised. Wallace, you're really you're really letting me down here. Can you stop? Can you stop slapping my giraffe, please? Could you stop hit can you stop slapping my giraffe across the face, please? Oh my god. Whalmer. Oh, this could this could be very scary. Because if it has water spout and it outspeeds, that's doing a ton of damage. Level 58. Oh my god. Well, now we, we do outspeed, so he's not going to do as much damage with the water spout, so... 
Oh, look at that water spout. I called it. I called it. That's gonna do nothing. I called it. Wow, I'm like a freaking genie. Citrus berry, okay. You're gonna go to at least. You're gonna go to at least healing range, so I can go for a strength. That'll do massive damage. I think using Swagger on his Polytoad is probably the worst thing he could have done because I have full heals and the heal powders out the ass. So I could just heal spam until I get a good freaking thing. That's so much damage. Oh my god. You can heal all you want. I'm just going to spam strength like a motherfucker. I'm going to spam it. I'm fine with that. Look at that life bar just go down to a level 58. That's so crazy. Get out! Get out! Leave! No one wants you here. Clefairy. We can stay in for a Clefairy. It's a basic. Next project. We are not leaving Pokemon the same evolution. We're gonna we're gonna try and at least uh, force evolution for their final stage at this level. Because I really hate fighting basics at the Elite Four. This is supposed to be the champion battle. This is supposed to be where battles become the most draining and the most hard. She's another freaking Polytoad. My god. So her. That's not her ace, right? No, her ace was level 58, and the uh, her ace was the Whalmer. Okay. Strength. We're one more hit away. Swagger. Okay. Again, you're making mistakes, but that's okay. I can forgive ya. I can forgive you. So there we go. We're gonna. We're about to seal this champion battle. Oh my god. Stop slapping my giraffe. You asshole. Stop it. There we go. Okay. We did it. We did it. We we uh, we beat Pokémon Emerald. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so, and yet it was uh, utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Lo. You and your po truly noble Pokémon trainer. 11,000. The Pokémon you sent into battle. <sighs> at times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they stuck. They struck like lightning. It was with light yet sure-footed elegance that I skipped the text without even knowing it. Even if I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance, you now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokémon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn Region. Uh what is this? Oh my god! Hello! Here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you flipping kidding me? This is some kind of joke, right? Um, wait, what? Could it be that it's like already over? See, what did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Lo? Lo, you've finally done it! What I've heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion. Ah, yes. What have become of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm, so you've seen 184 Pokemon and you've caught 34 Pokemon. Well, it could use more quantity, but look, this is looking more like a Pokedex now. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Hello. Hello. No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion. Come with me. Oh my god, I'm coming with you. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who uh, have become champions may enter, and people who aren't smelling and who aren't idiots. Bye bye. You'll have to wait outside with the professor, with Professor Birch. Oh my God! I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Lo, honestly, congratulations. Get out of here, May. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. Is it here? It is here that the League Champions are honored. We did it, guys. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. All right, guys, we did it. We beat the Hoenn Re We made it through the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. I can't tell you how much fun this has been recording this. I can't tell you how much fun this has been. We actually, we finished a project here on the channel and I'm very happy to hear that. Aw, oh, Avian, I'm so sorry. That hit me like a fucking bullet. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, I can't believe we kept our starter this entire time. There's comics. There's the MVP, Jesse. Oh, there's that. There's Asuka. Sorry, Tit Duck, that it didn't take you in here, but I don't know. And Seamus broke out of broke out of infatuation against that Wigglytuff. So, well, we did it, guys. Okay, well, we did it. Ah, look at that. All right. Well, I can't tell you guys how fun this has been recording this and just, this has been amazing. This is the part where I get all sappy and say like, thank you and everything. But literally like ever since I started this project, you guys have, I was surprised because there's actually some episodes where I got like really good feedback and Ever since I started this project, the support's been getting better and better every time I upload a video. So, I really want to say, guys, thank you so much for your support. It's really cool that I get to upload these videos. And I want to do these a lot more. And don't worry, an update video will be coming next week about what our next plans for an LP Let's Play is going to be. There will be an update video. Sorry I keep on rubbing my nose, it's just it's a little itchy right now, so... I might need to get a Kleenex after, because my nose is itching. It's not really sno it's not snotty or anything like that. It's just really itchy. But uh, yeah, so like I said, there will be an update video. So look out, look out for that. We still will have Showdown on the channel. I will still upload Pokemon Showdown, and I'm actually thinking about doing some other stuff too. But I will explain that in the update video of the next projects that are here to come. I'm definitely gonna think of more and more projects that we can do. There are a couple. There's a there's a pretty much a variety of uh, Pokemon games that I want to bring to the channel and that I've seen LP that I want to represent on my channel as well. It's just, it's been really nice being able to record Emerald because it's one of my, honestly, it's one of my top three favorite gens of all time. I don't know why. It's like, it's such a basic thing. Just getting the eight badges, going to the Elite Four and you're done. It's like, it's, so, it's such a basic format. That after you're done, you just kind of, you don't do anything else post-game. You just kind of maybe catch the legendaries. That's about it. Maybe you catch uh, Kyogre and Groudon. And who knows? Maybe if you guys actually want it, we might actually do that. But, um, basically that's all going to be up to you guys. If you guys want to see me uh, go out and catch the legendaries, um, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, the minute I get some feedback, I'll, uh, I'll start it. I'll do it. I'll do uh, episode 36 and I'll uh, I'll go catch all the legendaries so if you guys did enjoy and you want to show your support for this let's play if you have enjoyed Pokemon Emerald randomized Nuzlocke as a whole I want to thank you guys so much definitely hit the hell out of that like button for me because the support is always appreciated as well as the interaction with you guys has always been great and subscribe as well so you guys don't miss out on any content so thank you guys so much that's gonna do it for me uh, update video will come next week and until then there'll still be showdown on the channel and there'll still be fighting game content and there'll still be Pokemon Cobalt on Twitch links, will be, links to that will be in the description but uh, I think it's time for me to get out of here I've talked long enough so Thank you guys so much, and here's to uh, more things to come. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.